Topic of today's video is actually kind of hilarious. Now, normally on my channel, I talk about like major exploits or cybersecurity vulnerabilities, um, but this one is about a permaban issue in video games, and it has to do with a bug and a kernel mode anti-cheat. Now, before we get started, I wanna say that I've been doing offensive security research for about 10 or so years. I've been in this community of cybersecurity for a long time, um, and this is one of the funniest things that I've actually ever seen. Again, it's not an attack, it's not a hack, it's literally just a really, really funny bug in an anti-cheat software. And it's caused a lot of people in Call of Duty in particular to get banned. Let's talk about it right now. For quite some time, it has been possible to get somebody permanently banned from Call of Duty 3 and Call of Duty Warzone by sending them a friend request with the phrase or posting a message to them, nice trigger bot dude, in the game's chat since it would show up in the memory and get scanned by Ricochet. So there's a lot to unpack in just this paragraph alone, but for those who don't play Call of Duty or don't know about the anti-cheat system it uses, so Activision uses this thing called Ricochet, right? Ricochet is a kernel mode anti-cheat, and if you don't know my opinions on kernel mode anti-cheat, I don't like the direction of where gaming is going. That is a different video for a different day. I've already talked a lot about this over and over and over again. Um, but the way that a kernel mode anti-cheat works is it is code that runs at a privileged level of execution in your CPU so it can look Look down into the memory of other processes on your CPU. By having code running at the kernel level, you give the computer, you give the code basically access to do whatever it wants on your CPU. And for an anti-cheat, it makes sense. You need this level of access to be able to look into the processes of the game, like in this case, uh, Call of Duty 3 or Modern Warfare, and then use that to figure out if there's a cheat being ran on the computer. And what I like about the Ricochet anti-cheat, again, not an ad, I just like I just like that they're so open about this. The way that Ricochet works is they're actually introspecting on any of the syscalls where processes are trying to access the memory of Call of Duty. And the reason for this is actually pretty simple. The way that a cheat system works, let's say this red box over here is the game, right? This is gonna be Call of Duty, right? And so when a cheat system wants to do something nefarious, what they do is they spawn another process in another part of the computer, and they do what's called remote process injection, where they're able to put the memory of this process into the memory of Call of Duty. The memory of this cheat software will have a particular signature to it, right? It'll have a certain byte sequence. It'll have a certain color, if you will, if you don't really know how uh, signatures work in computing, um, but it'll look a certain way. And so what the anti-cheat is gonna do, and again, the anti-cheat is at a higher level where it can introspect all of this stuff, is it's gonna look throughout the computer and try to find this yellow thing. And inside the anti-cheat, it's gonna have a database of known malicious signatures, right? That it has to look for in the memory. And if you are kind of alluding where I'm going with this, uh, this is where it gets really, really funny, right? So, so it is very common for anti-cheats to have this signature here, the word trigger bot. Right, because the name of the executable maybe, or maybe some of some of the strings that get injected into the Call of Duty process contain the word trigger bots. So literally, we're going to type it out here. We're going to say trigger bot, and we're going to put it nice and nice and large, right? So we can all we all can see it, right? So there we go. Trigger bot is now in our Call of Duty process. And so what Ricochet is doing is just scanning through the image, and if it sees the word trigger bot, it's like, oh, there's been a remote process injection. This guy is obviously cheating. Ban his account. Well, there's a little problem with that. There's a little bit of an issue with uh, the way they implemented this. Now, remember what the paragraph said. You could simply permaban them by sending them a friend request or posting this message so that it appeared in the memory of their game. So what this means from like, and this is where it gets so funny because like you begin to see how this is architected from the software standpoint. There is no logic in Ricochet, and again, Ricochet at the top level here is the kernel mode anti-cheat that is scanning through the Call of Duty process. There is no logic in Ricochet to differentiate different memory regions of the Call of Duty game. Because for example, maybe this region here is the actual code that controls when you move your gun up and down. And maybe this region here is where you inject assets, right? So maybe if someone injected an asset here, it would change the color of the gun. And maybe if they injected code here, it would change how fast you moved your gun, therefore being a trigger bot, right? But this region of memory <laughs> that they're actively triggering on is the region of memory that contains chat messages. And because there's no differentiation in the code that makes this part of the memory different than another part of the memory, if it sees trigger bot 
anywhere, it'll cancel your account, it'll permanently ban you, or at least it did before this patch, right? And this is where the majority of exploits happen, right? This is the part of gaming that is really interesting, or the part of coding that is really interesting, where you have to understand where a, a remote user, a user on the outside of your computer can have control of the data inside your computer, right? If a remote user is able to type chats to you, they are able to, by the process of how chat works, inject this memory into your computer. Whatever you type into chat is going into your computer. And same thing right now, right? Like when you're on twitch.tv, somewhere that I stream, by the way, when someone types a certain sequence of text into the chat box, that gets loaded into your computer. Now, if there's a vulnerability in the way that the Twitch chat system or your, your browser or whatever processes that data, they can take advantage of it. Warning, you are entering the tin foil hat zone. Uh, this should raise some alarms, I think, in people's heads about the direction of, of software in video games, right? If a software company like Activision, one that is as big as the people that make Call of Duty and World of Warcraft and all of these other like AAA, quadruple A even uh, titles, it is really, really unnerving that a bug as simple as this, where they're just scanning willy nilly anywhere in memory and triggering off of a seven, what is that, 10 character sequence, right? If they are missing logic issues that are so simple in a piece of code like this, my question then becomes, where else are they missing things, right? Is it possible that there are other underlying issues in the Ricochet software that could be exploited remotely by an attacker if they're able to inject something into your CPU via the video game. Again, I have no information on this. I have no knowledge of this. I'm just saying, if this is a bug that we are aware of, where are the other ones that we're not aware of? Now, again, this is not the case here. No one is getting hacked by this. It's more just kind of hilarious that because there's no differentiation in these memory regions, people are just gonna get permabanned or they got permabanned. And again, Call of Duty says that they fixed this and it's, it's all taken care of. If there were a vulnerability in the kernel mode anti-cheat where maybe it wasn't scanning just the chat, maybe it was scanning you know, IPC messages between the server and the client and the user on the other end controlled one of those, right? A bug in the processing of that data would be a bug not only in Call of Duty, but it'd be a bug at the kernel mode of your computer that could get them privileged access into your CPU at a level that you would probably never detect. This is why I personally have a pretty aggressive stance against kernel mode anti-cheat. I think all in all, um, this kind of work should be done on the server, right? You should be doing the checks for that kind of telemetry on the server, but from a corporate make money go burt standpoint, um, it's not profitable to have an entire system set to do this kind of check if you can just use your player base as a botnet and have them do their own checks locally, hence the, the kernel mode anti-cheat, right? But anyway, that's really it. Nothing too crazy in this video. I just think it's hilarious that if you send them this string, you are going to get them banned. Also, feel free to buy a Toyota Hilux or a Ford F-150 because that's, that's the ad we're getting today. Um, anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you like this video, hit subscribe. Before you go, check out this video about the PS4 jailbreak that was actually just as funny as this or this other video that I think you'll enjoy just as much. We'll see you there.